When building your first home stereo system, you need to consider adding an amplifier. An integrated amplifier combines a power amp and a preamp and is much easier to buy than looking for separate components. These devices offer a good combination of features and functions at a reasonable price. In recent years, many integrated amplifiers have been released that combine the functionality of a traditional amplifier, DAC, and streaming player that offer both wired and wireless connectivity. Wireless streaming support has become a standard feature for amplifiers in 2022, including support for Aptex and Aptex HD Bluetooth codecs. Many DAC amplifiers now include optical, USB, and Ethernet interfaces for connecting external digital sources. Sometimes, you can even use your desktop or laptop computer as a head unit to play the digital audio library stored on it. From a general description, let's move on to the main topic of discussion the consideration of integrated amplifier models that meet all modern quality standards, providing high performance, many connection options, and high quality signal reproduction. Marantz Model 40N The Japanese company Marantz has introduced an advanced integrated streaming amplifier Model 40N. It operates in Class AB and puts out 70 watts per channel into 8 ohms. It is equipped with a larger transformer and 4 transistors per channel, which adds to the power-to-weight ratio, the amplifier will have better control over the acoustics. The brand has focused on digital audio transmission. Now the user only needs to add a speaker system to the amplifier and enjoy audio streaming. On board, there is support for Spotify Connect, Amazon Music, Tidal, TuneIn Internet Radio, and much more. In addition to this impressive set, the new amplifier will allow you to use your music library with PCM resolution up to 192kHz or 24-bit or DSD up to 5.6MHz. Wireless connectivity options include AirPlay 2, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi controlled via the HOS app. Model 40N can work with various analog and digital signal sources, HDMI ARC for connecting to a TV and MM or MC phono stage for working with a turntable. Movie lovers will appreciate the ability to connect a subwoofer with an adjustable crossover. The new amplifier can become the basis for a full-fledged multi-room system, the HOS app will help. Multi-room will affect not only streaming sound from streaming sites, even vinyl can now be listened to in different rooms via wireless channels. According to the company, Model 40N will be able to provide high-quality wireless connections even if there are a large number of networks and interference from them in the city. The remote control is in the box to control the amplifier, and you can also use Siri, Alexa, and Google. Our second pick of the day is Denon PMA 1700NE. Denon PMA 1700NE is equipped with a UHCMOS field effect transistor, which has excellent linearity from a small area to a high current area and can carry high currents. The Denon PMA 1700NE delivers a high output of 140 watts per channel while maintaining sound fidelity and naturalness. The PMA 1700NE uses a new EI core transformer with little voltage fluctuation and a more stable power supply. An LC mounting system is used to compensate for the effect of stray magnetic flux, which causes noise, placing two transformers side by side. For collectors of vinyl discs, a built-in MM or MC phono stage is provided in the amplifier. Other users will appreciate the optical and coaxial digital inputs connecting various devices such as a TV, set-top box, or game console. With a USB port and a built-in D or a converter, you can connect your computer or laptop to the amplifier and enjoy high-definition music quality. The PMA 1700NE uses a low-phase noise dual clock to synchronize digital data accurately. The amplifier has non-adjustable inputs that you can use to connect an external preamplifier, using the PMA 1700NE as a pure power amplifier, for example, to amplify the front speakers in a multi-channel home theater system. Outputs include A or B speaker jacks as well as a subwoofer output. The PMA 1700NE speaker terminals and analog source inputs are gold-plated.
The next integrated amplifier in this list is Riga LXR. The Riga LXR has been designed to provide the best sound quality slash value ratio while still being easy to use and set up. The device is made in a proprietary Riga metal case, which provides improved heat dissipation, and a high-capacity mains transformer is installed in its power supply. The amplifier develops an output power of 90 watts per channel with a load resistance of 6 ohms and 72.5 watts with an impedance of connected speakers of 8 ohms. The amplifier's output stages are built according to the Darlington circuit on Sanken transistors, designed for a power of 150 watts. The circuit operates in a mode close to Class A, but at the same time, it has increased thermal stability. To provide years of exceptional listening pleasure, the LXR has been built to Riga's extremely high reliability and quality standards. The primary function of an amplifier is to linearly amplify a low-level audio signal generated by a cartridge, DAC, CD player, or other component sources to a level that the speakers can reproduce. The amplifier must achieve this with as little distortion as possible, as it directly affects the enjoyment you receive when listening to music. The level of distortion is usually no more than 0.007%, which is almost invisible to the ear. The adjustable volume control and preamplifier part of the LXR design is designed to solve the problems usually associated with the standard layout of similar devices. In a nutshell, the reproduction is fully balanced, allowing this amplifier to work well with various speaker systems. Our fourth pick of the day is Denon PMA 900HNE Integrated Network Amplifier. The 900HNE is the company's first built-in stereo amplifier with built-in HOS streaming, while the DCD 900NE is a matching CD player with USB playback. With phono input, digital TV audio inputs, and network audio streaming with built-in HOS technology, the Denon PMA 900HNE expands your listening experience from any source. To achieve the most important goal of the Denon audio amplifier design, thinness and strength, a single HC push-pull transistor is used with a peak power supply of three times that of a conventional transistor. Denon is a pair to eliminate the muddy sound caused by the difference in the characteristics of the elements. The PMA 900HNE uses a differential two-stage amplifier circuit that is more robust to oscillation than a conventional differential three-stage amplifier. The large output current of the HC transistor and the very stable circuit configuration drive various speakers accurately and powerfully. The PMA 900HNE uses a high-precision electronic volume control chip similar to the PMA A110. The sensor detects the direction and degree of rotation of the knob. And based on this information, the volume is controlled by a high-precision electronically controlled volume control installed on the main board. The same configuration is used for left and right channel balance and tone control. It shortened the signal line that had to run back and forth between the front panel knob and the preamp board, achieving an ideal minimum signal path. Marantz PM 6007. The appearance of the PM 6007 may seem very familiar, but the interior of this stereo amplifier sets it apart from previous products from the manufacturer. On the back panel, you see a lot of different interfaces, for line inputs, one for a turntable and two analog outputs for connecting a tape recorder and a subwoofer. Above are three digital inputs, two optical and one coaxial. In the center are four pairs of connectors for acoustics, and on the right side, there are two connectors for connecting via the D-Bus system bus. The most important task of the physical controls is volume control. In the case of the Marantz PM6007, the accompanying remote control does the job perfectly. Perhaps the biggest change to the internals is the introduction of a new DAC. The DAC is based on the AK4490 chip, a pretty big upgrade over the Cirrus logic that Marantz used on the previous model. In a nutshell, the reproduction is fully balanced, allowing this amplifier to work well with various speaker systems. The manufacturer claims this device is geared towards the future of hi-fi devices in terms of new formats and streaming services, presumably because software and firmware updates could expand its functionality. In addition to the stereo line output, the PM6007 has a separate subwoofer output and a headphone output. 
This amplifier embodies the theoretical expectations of streaming as the most convenient way to enjoy quality recordings of your favorite music in high-definition streaming. We hope this video will help you choose the perfect integrated amplifiers. An integrated amplifier can amplify the transmitted audio signal from third-party devices, adjust the volume level, and keep the transmitted sound signal under complete control. Tell us your favorite integrated amplifiers in the comments section. Thank you for watching.